I know I've been pretty much MIA from this channel for the past five months, but it is because I basically put a dead stop on everything in life because I was busy remodeling my house. Now I am nowhere near completing this mission, but I think the most important room is finally complete. So let's take a look. You see the finished results until I show you exactly what it took to get this job done. Oh, flashback. Excuse the mess of what I look like and this garage. We are in the middle of a home remodel and I'm gonna turn this garage that is 110 degrees into my studio and gym. So I have to start by getting all of this stuff out of here. One pair of pants late. Well, I didn't think that would be possible, but I did get this garage completely cleaned out. We don't need to show you what my living room looks like, right? I decided it is time to try something new that I have never done before. I'm gonna try my hand out. I'm playing with some concrete. 346 minutes late. So today I learned that if you live in Las Vegas, you do not need to buy quick drying cement. But check this out, I filled in the gaps. Three days later. It's already 113 degrees outside, and I'm gonna be in there on my hands and knees on the concrete floor scrubbing it. And it's gonna be clean. The next day. about half of the paint before the rest of it turned into a rock and it says it only needs one coat but it definitely needs two because it looks like crap like I made the garage floor look worse they didn't say you need to prime it or anything but apparently you need to prime it that's it this is the last coat I'm doing and I'm gonna throw all of these little sparkly things to when I'm done Thousands of tears later. I get a little carried away with some of these little sprinkles. Oh, and I'm a total bonehead because I closed the garage door so the wind would have blow the leaves into it. But I fully forgot about the padding on the bottom of the garage door, which stuck to the epoxy. And so now I have to scrape the vat off. The floor is done. Now I gotta paint the walls. A little longer than a few minutes later. I need to cock up some corners before I get started on the painting. I finished painting. I'm just gonna start moving the gym equipment in here and we'll figure it out as we go. One week later. The next day. Here you can see me putting everything together and then when I was finished I decided I wanted to paint the wall black. After 57 crashes of my editing software I realized those files are all corrupted so I gave up on sharing the process with you. And here is the final result of that day. Today this garage is going to be done. Start by getting rid of those gaps. <laughs> You know what? I didn't finish this today. The filling in a gap at the bottom of that garage door turned out to be an entirety project. And now for a quick cleanup before I show you the final results. So what do you think? I began filming this entire process on June 29th. And in between dealing with the contractors on the inside of the house and doing a lot of the remodel myself, I've actually been worn pretty thin over the past few months. Throw in trying to train for the 70.3 World Championships and getting rear-ended while sitting at a red light. Not to mention life has kind of resumed back to normal after a year and a half of just staying home. So I really haven't had that much time to create content. But the good news is 
everything is caught up enough so I can get back to training and I can create content again because I've missed it all so much. And I have a really cool announcement that I'm excited to share with you next week. A way in which we can ride our bikes together and get to know each other so it's not always just me talking to you. So stay tuned and I hope to see you next week. Thank you so much for watching and being patient with me and I will see you next time.